Hey everybody, this is Nick with the Kai Professional. Today I'm going to show you how you can get started using your MPK Mini Mark II or MPK Mini Play with GarageBand and how to use the included instrument plugins in the software. Let's get started. If you're looking to simply start playing instruments in GarageBand, there's very little setup involved. Start by connecting your MPK to your USB port on your computer and launching GarageBand. Create an empty project in GarageBand. Use the I Hear Sounds From field to select the audio device you're using for your computer. In this instance, I'm using the computer's built-in input and output, but if you're using an audio interface, select it in these fields. GarageBand uses audio unit type plugins, so make sure there's a check in the Enable Audio Units box so we can add plugins later. The MIDI section will reflect the number of MIDI inputs that are detected by GarageBand. I only have the MPK connected here, so there's currently one available MIDI input. If you have multiple controllers connected, this number will reflect the total number of inputs. When you've configured your audio I.O., close this menu. Select a software instrument track and click Create. That's really all that's necessary to start playing with GarageBand's instruments. Click the record button to start performing and write MIDI data into GarageBand's sequencer. Click the stop button to stop recording when you're finished. Double click on the recorded MIDI region to inspect the MIDI events at the bottom of the screen. GarageBand will start you off with an electric piano by default, but you can use the browser at the left hand side to select a different instrument. In addition to the instruments that are included with GarageBand, you can add third party AU plugins to the software. The MPK includes some instruments, so let's add hybrid to GarageBand now. If you don't already have an account at the Akai Pro website, let's create one now. If you do already have an account, log in. To create an account, enter your first and last name, email address, a password for your account, and check the recapture box, then click create account. Once you're logged in, select my account and choose register a product. Select the MPK you're using in the drop-down menu, enter the serial number exactly as it appears on the white barcode label, including the 21 in parentheses, select the date on which you purchased the MPK, and click register my product. When you've completed that, you'll be brought to a new page that shows the products you've registered to your account. When you're logged into your Akai Pro account, expand the included software menu, scroll down to hybrid, and download it for your operating system. Once Hybrid is downloaded, copy the software authorization code from your account. We'll use this to authorize the software on your computer. To authorize the software, we'll use the iLock License Manager. If you do not have the iLock License Manager software on your computer, you can visit www.ilock.com to download it. Sign into your iLock account in the License Manager software. Select the Licenses menu and choose Redeem Authorization Code. Paste the authorization code for Hybrid from your Akai Pro account into the fields that appear. A valid code will display green check marks under each field. Click Next. Select a location to which the software will be activated. In this case, I'm going to authorize the computer I'm using, but you can add a license to a physical iLock key, or simply store it in your account for later use. Select the device you want to authorize and click Activate. iLock will indicate that the authorization was successful and you will see it added to the software. Next, let's install Hybrid. Open the location to which your downloads go and run the Hybrid installer. Click through the installer, enter your password if you're prompted, and it will indicate when it's completed. Plugins will install to a default location on Mac operating systems, so once Hybrid is installed, GarageBand will know where to find it automatically. Open GarageBand again, create an empty project, and add a software instrument. Expand the Plugins menu and open the drop-down menu which should show GarageBand's default instrument, Vintage Piano. The audio unit plugins that are installed on your computer will be found in this menu. I'll select Hybrid now. Hybrid's graphical interface will appear, and you can use it to edit the instrument's parameters as well as browse its pre-made patches. Select the patch in Hybrid and record the same way we did earlier with the electric piano. That should get you started using your MPK with GarageBand. Be sure to check the link in the video description for more popular guides and tutorials. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.